Alright, so in this video we're uh, going to continue out in detail. As you can see, I kind of went and already did uh, a lot of the things, the same things that I did to these uh, pieces of geometry, I did already to these, as in I separated them, and I went and I uh, pretty much filled the holes and connected the geometry. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you basically with this last part, which is the only one that I didn't address. So again, I'm going to go to Mesh, fill the hole, and uh, I'm just basically going to go ahead and start um, connecting some of these components. Make sure that I have nice flowing geometry so I can keep that in detail. Um, so let's just start connecting some components here. And see this one right here. We have a couple of components that we might need to connect, but they're not. You're not going to be able to use the connect components for this because we have geometry that's intercepting. So for that, I'm actually going to switch to my split polygon tool. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make those cuts myself. Enter to finish that one, and then I just have to do another one right over here. Alright, so I have connecting components now, and I'm going to press on 3 so it gives me a preview of what it looks like. And again, I'm going to have to add, a, add another edge loop over here because uh, make sure that it's actually connecting to this part so. Let's use the uh, insert edge loop tool here. All right, that's nice. <coughs> and again, I'm gonna look at my reference just to make sure that I'm adding all the detail that I'm supposed to be adding. All right, so another thing that I'm noticing is that this part over here is also kind of flat and a little bit edgy, and right now I have it curved, and it's not like that there. Um, Let's see, the curving is here, just kind of works fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and address that. <coughs> and... Alright. So again, I made this a little bit sharper, and still kind of keeps this a uh, little bit of a curve here. Uh, and I did that by not adding any cuts to that area. Um, might have to let's see enter select it and perhaps this is something that I have to fix so I don't have any collapse in geometry and as you can see there is no edges edge loops right there that um, that are keeping that a little bit sharper than it's supposed to so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple of edge loops so, let's see, G, because it's the last thing that I was using. Doesn't have to be super sharp, but it's nice. Like this. And... Okay, that seems to be working pretty well. Alright, so, and at this point, before I do anything else, I want to make sure that I address whatever uh, geometry issues that I may have. Uh, for instance, here I know I have a little bit of collapse in geometry uh, and a little bit of sharpness, uh, sharp kind of edge right here. And it's because if I go back to my original, I added an edge loop to keep this right here a little sharp, but it ended up adding a little bit of a corner here unintentionally. So I need to make sure I fix that. And I'm just going to basically select this. Um, this whole edge and I'm going to be using the um, slide edge tool to basically make sure that I'm moving that edge um, uh, along this face right here and by doing that I won't be I won't change the shape of the curve uh, too much so again the closer my my edge is to this one is going to make a sharper uh, 
corner so we want to keep it a little bit farther and uh, let's see might have done a little bit too much there so I'm just going to do a little bit of it and again I'm just uh, um, middle, miss, middle mouse clicking and just dragging alright and I'm doing three so I can see a preview of it and um, alright so that fixed that problem now let's look at what's going on here and again it could be because this piece of the couch right here doesn't have enough loops to tell it that it's supposed to be more like a, a sharp edge or a sharp cut so let's go back to this I can also go in there and maybe move my geometry a little bit so it's not so close to it but I am gonna have to add some resolution as well uh, so just kinda move it a little bit this again um, let's see I'm gonna add use the insert edge loop tool um, this guy right here Let's see, and just by adding an extra edge loop around here is going to create a little bit of sharpness on that corner. And again, I want to be careful here because if I create another edge loop, to, uh, edge loop over here, it's going to give me a better corner here. But at the same time, I just created a little bit of a corner here. So again, the same thing that I did with my edge at the bottom, I basically select this. Uh, edge over here and I'm going to use my uh, slide edge tool middle uh, mouse click button and just kind of slide it a little bit and again that's just to make sure that I don't get any sharp edges um, or too uh, much far like close geometry that's going to um, create those um, the weird kind of sharp curvature that I had going on there all right, so um, let's see. I think uh, I'm gonna stop at this moment. Save. And again, another good practice that uh, for this type of modeling is that whenever you're gonna do an extreme uh, change to your scene, make sure you save and save as a different file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, let's go. I'm gonna start adding these pieces right here. Uh, these kind of separators and the the little pillows right here and uh, the legs so that's going to be on the next video